Next, may I invite Women's Human Rights International Association to take the floor, please. Thank you, Mr. President. When we talk about human rights violations, we forget the families, first and foremost mothers, wives, daughters, and sisters of the victims of executions and enforced disappearances. In Iran, political arrests and executions cause serious suffering to these women because they also have to suffer the violence of the authorities' silence, contempt from the prison system, and terrible pressure from the security services. The families of the victims of the 1988 massacre of political prisoners must also be considered as victims of psychological torture for 30 years. On each anniversary, these women live through the torments of their loved ones' disappearance without knowing where to lay flowers and shed tears, never having known where the graves are. Some, because they have insisted over the years on knowing the truth or asking for justice, have been imprisoned. It is time for the United Nations to set up international mechanisms to ensure their security and the possibility of finally obtaining justice. Thank you. Thank you.